Good question. I will tell you it's very, very cumbersome to do it. We don't do it routinely, okay? So the studies that I showed you, these are not things that you would do on a daily basis with your parent patients because it's not practical. But what would happen is we would bring you into the office and to our phototherapy suite. We use ultraviolet A and B light, ironically enough, to treat a lot of skin diseases because it does have many therapeutic effects but we would never treat a lupus patient, but we have the devices. And what we would do is basically expose a small square on your back to uh, set doses of light and then look at your skin and then maybe biopsy your skin and demonstrate that you have a reaction to it that's beyond a sunburn, right? So either it can be a sunburn reaction, which shouldn't happen at the dose we give you because it should be at the it should be lower than a sunburning effect. So then that would be, that would demonstrate one type of photosensitivity that you, you sunburn much easier than you should be for the color of your skin. Um, or you actually develop a lupus rash and we can demonstrate that on a skin biopsy. And it would look just like if you came in to see me, I have a rash and I take a biopsy. Oh, it's lupus. It would look the same. So that can be done and we can do it to UVB light. We can do it to UVA light. We can combine UVA and UVB. We even used to do it to visible light because there are some people who say visible light will you know, uh, trigger lupus. And that probably is tr true to a certain degree but it's very hard. So it's not like you could make an appointment with me and I'm going to sit down and figure out what wavelength of light you have. Instead, we use history, use clinical clues. So for example, you could tell me that you get lupus rashes regardless of the time of year. So it's the dead of winter. I mean, as much as winter happens in California, but it's a cloudy day like today. And if you went out and you walked down the street two days later, you'd be down, you'd be sick you'd have fever, joint pain, and you'd have a nice rash. So then I'm gonna tell you most likely you are sensitive to UVA light. And that is because I know that throughout the year, UVA light, which is long wave, penetrates down to our surface, Earth's surface and it's pretty even throughout the year, as opposed to UVB light, which is really low in the winter because of the angle of the sun and the earth and this short wavelength. So you would not, have as much UVB in December as you would in July. So if you told me that you really don't have problems with rashes in the winter time, but you do in the summer, I'd say you're probably alert, you know, sensitive to UVB light, but probably you're sensitive to both, or maybe yeah. you're sensitive to none. And you, you know, based on what I showed you, you don't necessarily know because you know, your rash may come 21 days after you had your sun exposure and you've forgotten that you went out, you know, 21 days before. So it's a really tricky subject. So in general, we just try to advise that, you know, nobody really gets a pass. If you have lupus, you really need to be careful um, and use sun protection because you may not appreciate that you're getting the damage from the sun.